welcome to the Property Elite podcast. I'll be your host, Jen Lehman, Chartered Surveyor and co-founder of Property Elite. Stay tuned each week for more on industry hot topics, market updates and new RICS guidance. In today's video, we look at the new Class MA Permitted Development PD rights. This is essential listening for RICS APC planning and development candidates, as well as any candidates involved in advising clients on planning and potential uses for commercial premises. So what are PD rights? PD rights allow certain types of development to be carried out without full planning consent being granted. This could, for example, facilitate certain changes of use. PD rights are generally limited by Article 4 directions in certain areas such as conservation areas, national parks and areas of outstanding natural beauty, AONB. Where PD rights are available, prior approval is still generally required, which allows the local planning authority to consider the proposals, impacts and mitigation measures in relation to factors such as transport, parking, flooding, contamination and noise. What does MA stand for? MA stands for Mercantile to Abode. Class MA is, therefore, a PD right set out under the General Permitted Development Order. So when does the new Class MA PD right apply from? That's from the 1st of August 2021. What is the new MA PD right? Class MA creates a PD right from use Class E, to use Class C3 residential. This will essentially help to increase the supply of housing by revitalising redundant commercial stock, commonly located in high street locations. Use Class E encompasses retail shops, cafes, restaurants, financial and professional services, indoor sports and fitness, medical or health services, creches, day nurseries, day centres, offices, research and development and light industry. So, are there any restrictions on the Class MAPD right? Yes. These include the requirement to apply for prior approval. The use Class E building must have been vacant for a continuous period of at least three months prior to the application for prior approval, i.e. there's no tenants in occupation for this period. The building must have been in this use for a continuous period of at least two years prior to the application for prior approval. The cumulative floor space of the building must be less than 1,500 square metres. The building and site cannot be part of a site of science, special scientific interest, be listed, a scheduled monument, a safety hazard area or a military explosives area. And finally, the building cannot be within an AOMB or within other site-specific designations. Thanks for listening to the Property Elite podcast this week head to our website to check out our full blog, free and paid support resources and services, free consultation for every single RICS APC and ASOC RICS candidate, and also ask us any questions you have via the website chat blog. See you next week.